Well, well, good evening, everybody, to Trojan football, as tonight the Trojans play their arch rival from Millersburg, the Millersburg Indians, coming up here on uh, a big night. It's homecoming here at UDA, and the Trojans have a good crowd on hand here now. And of course, Millersburg has a good following this year because they are playing some really, really good football. They are three and one on the year, and the Trojans one and three. So we'll be looking for the Trojans to be upsetters tonight, if possible, against these Millersburg Indians. But it's going to be one heck of a tough ball game in view of the fact that the Trojans have failed to score in their last three ball games. They beat Peckway Valley pretty handily down there at Peckway Valley, but then have put three losses on the board and in each loss scoring zero points. So it won't be easy against the tough Millersburg defense and a heck of an offensive minded Millersburg football team. So we'll get going here in just one moment. Co-captains meeting out at the center of the field tonight. And uh, Harmon number 61, 68. Um, we'll pick that guy up here. And of course, Josh Kephart, number 57. 68 I'll pick up here as soon as I get my sheet on the right order. Looks like the Millersburg Indians have won the toss. And uh, we'll be set for the opening kickoff here in just a moment. Garner and Kerstad are back to receive the opening kick here from UDA as we get set for the opening tilt tonight. And uh, Marco will be kicking off for UDA. Zach's gotten some kickoffs that were high but not too deep lately, so let's see what he does with this one. He's going to kick this one like an onside kick, and it's going to be covered at the 47 or 48-yard line. So the Trojans trying to surprise the Indians. Uh, did not uh, work so well that time. Gives the Indians a first down on the 48-yard line of Millersburg. So excellent field position to start off here now for the Millersburg Indians. Quarterback back there is that uh, number five, Kerstetter. It's Daryl Kerstetter. Sends a man in motion. Fullback has the ball, and he gets about four yards. Out to the 48-yard line of the Trojans. Picking, well, they spotted at the 49, so we'll say it picked up three. It'll be second down and seven. Trojan defense last uh, time out played a very good first half. Then they kind of faded in the second half, but uh, played a pretty good first half last time out. So we'll see what we do on this second down and seven now. Kerstetter said the main emotion again to tailback Scott, and he's got a couple more yards out to the 45-yard line of UDA, picking up about three more on the play. It'll be third down and four. As they <clears throat> spot it right down at the 45-yard line of Hubbard Offen. Third down. Stay back a little bit here. Man comes in motion again, pitches back over this way, trying to turn the side. He's going to be tackled short of the first down by maybe a yard or so. Run him out of bounds over there. And I think uh, it looked like Tyler Grosser might have been knocked out or knocked him out of there. It's at the 43 yard line of Upper Dolphin. It's fourth down in the yard. Twenty-four is Garrett Durr. <clears throat> Here we go on a big fourth down and or fourth and one, and keep it, and he'll drive it for more than one all the way across the 35 to the 34-yard line. Goes Kerstetter. Well, Darrow on a fourth and one picks up about six, and they'll spot it at the 36-yard line. First and ten, Millersburg. Thank you. 
First and ten. Quarterback keeps it coming around this side here, and he's going to be stopped after a gain of about four on the play, perhaps. Tackle made in there by several Trojans. Cody Cooper on the stop for UDA, among others. Ball is spotted at the 33 yard line. Gain of three on the play. It'll be second down and seven. <clears throat> Second and seven for Millersburg. To throw, slay it over the side, it is caught. And uh, he stopped out there close to the first down marker. We'll see where it is. Short by about one, it'll be third down and one. Ball now at the 27 yard line of UDA. So Millersburg on the opening drive here, got a march going down to the Trojan. 27 yard line. Those series began on the Millersburg 50 or 48 yard line. Up the middle with it, they'll go for the first down and more as he drives it all the way down, driving tacklers with him all the way inside the 20 to the 19 yard line. That was Durr, and uh, he has it another first down for Millersburg at the 19 yard line of Upper Dauphin. A timeout called official timeout here. Not sure exactly for what, but maybe an equipment problem or something. I think we've got a guy down over there. Oh, I see. Okay. Got a young fella down on the play, so time called. Now the injured ball player is Cody Cooper, and Cody limping off here now. Got a leg problem of some kind. There, they're going to carry him off. Atta boy. Hmm. A break for that Cody Cooper. But it's first down Millersburg now on the 19 yard line of Hubbard Offen. And they'll get maybe a couple out of this. Not much. Trojan, middle of that Trojan line, tying them up in there pretty quickly. Sims is in there along with uh, Harmon and several others. Weist. Gain of a yard at the 18. It'll be second down and nine. Really like to see the Trojans hold them here if they could. Pitches back over there to 10. He'll cut it upfield and he is going to be tripped up on a nice low tackle made out there by one of those Trojans. Could have been Grosser, I believe. Or no, maybe make that uh, fight. Gain of four on the play. It'll be third and four. Third and four for Millersburg. Ball is at the 13 yard line now of UDA. <clears throat> This time it's going to be the quarterback even. He'll pitch it back over this way there. He'll take it around the side over here, and I'm not sure where he got in, but nope. Durr had it, but yeah. Well, penalty flag down here. Holding called against the Indians. So that'll nullify a big run there by uh, Durr. And bring the ball back. Call Holding call against Millersburg will bring the ball back to the 15 yard line where it'll be third down and 16 or six, third and six. Third and six. Or five, third and five. Quarterback has to keep it, and he's going to be tackled nicely as a mishandled play that time. Something happened on that one. I'm sure Kerstetter wasn't supposed to get that one, but he did. Picked up a yard on the play to the 13 yard line. It'll be fourth down and four. 
Huge third down defensive play coming up here now for the Trojans. On a big third down. Back to pass goes Kerstetter. He's looking. He's firing one down into the end zone. It's incomplete. So the Trojans have held him here. Has a good rush put on that time by that uh, Harmon. And uh, Wiest really putting the pressure on Kerstetter that time. So the Trojans have taken over and held the Indians on the Trojan 13-yard line. It is first and 10 UDA. So now we'll see if the Trojans have any kind of offense going for them tonight. Trojans, of course, missing the services of uh, Lucas, Scott Lucas, and now Cody Cooper going out with a leg injury. So it'll be the shotgun formation for Anson Amour, the QB. Pretty good snap, big rush, and he's going to be tackled down at about the three-yard line. Big rush put on that time. And... Uh, Hanson couldn't do much with that one. Loss puts the ball back at about the four yard line. It'll be second down and uh, oh, just about eight, 19, something like that. Or hands it off. Up the middle with it comes uh, number 20. Two is that Sims, I think, or is it 23? No, 23. Buffington, Ty Buffington, running the ball that time. Got himself about a yard or two out to the seven yard line. Be third down and 15. Third and 15. Ty Buffington getting a chance now. I'll tell you, a bunch of youngsters on this Upper Dolphin football team, <clears throat> and they're doing the best they can. Third down, 15. Amour needs some pass protection back there, and one of these games we're going to get it. He fakes it back. Look out. Big rush put on him. Now he spins it out here. It is complete, but uh, Buffington will grab it and be thrown out of bounds well short of the first down, and so it'll bring up a fourth down in a punting situation for the Trojans. They're going to call on Markle to be punting this one out of there. He'll be about three yards deep in the end zone when he gets this punt away. Got 527 left here in the first quarter. No score. And Markle, he's not going to be as deep as I thought. He's going to be stepping up to his own five-yard line now to get this punt away. You better get a good snap and a quick kick out of there because these Indians are coming. Whoa, a little bit of a high snap into the end zone. Take a safety. He will throw it out. Nope. Okay, it will be a safety, and Millersburg will lead 2-0, and the Trojans will be punting to the Millersburg Indians. So the Indians, in spite of themselves, get themselves on the board with a safety. Well, they'll bring it out to the 20-yard line, and they'll get a free punt out of it. Well, they get to tee it up here on the 20-yard line now. It's a uh, your choice. You can kick it or tee it up or punt it, so we're going to Tee it up and kick it off here from the 20. Should give the Millersburg Indians some good field position. Kick's going to come back here and be taken at the 36-yard line. To midfield, he goes with it, breaks a couple of tackles, and gets tackled finally at the 40-yard line of Upper Dolphin. That... Uh, <laughs> Not sure exactly who made the stop that time. Josh Lesher, I believe it was. Yeah, 13, Josh Lesher making the stop. 40-yard line for Millersburg, first and 10 Indians. Quarterback's going to throw it. He's looking, getting a pretty good rush, and now he finally gets tackled in the pocket right at the uh, line of scrimmage. Jesse Wiest in there for one. Helping to put the pressure on him and tackling him. Good to see the Trojans putting some pressure on like a quarterback, in this case, at uh, Daryl Kerstetter for uh, once here now. Yeah. They've shown the ability to get it after Daryl, so I can't hurt. Second down and 10. 
This time he gives it to the fullback, and he's going to be grabbed immediately in there also. Bunch of Trojans making a stop. Weist again in on the stop. And on the far side getting up last is that uh, Harmon, Troy Harmon, making a good, uh, some good defensive moves in there. Play Culver also right over there in that left side of that Trojan defensive line. Third down and 10. Third and 10. Steve Garner goes on, goes in to set himself on the far side of the field. Motion comes over this way. They're looking to throw. Fires one down this way. It is incomplete. Thrown behind the intended receiver who was open, but Kerstetter's pass, about a yard or so behind him. He had to turn around and try to pick that one off and could do it. So it's fourth down and 10 now. The Trojans have held him here so far at the 40 yard line of Upper Dauphin. So we'll see what the Indians come up with here on a big fourth and 10 play from UD 40. Three minutes, 46 seconds. The clock stopped with the incompletion of the pass. Well, now we'll see what happens here as they set it up on a big fourth down and 10. Kerstetter wants to throw, rolls back, fires one downfield. It is incomplete as he overthrows Durr, or rather Hayne, Jake Hayne out there, the intended receiver. But uh, Kerstetter overthrew him by about three yards. Now there is a wind blowing across the field, more or less, kind of from the southwest and across the field. Might have given a little more air under Kerstetter's pass. I'm not sure. But at any rate, the Trojans take over first and 10 on their own 40-yard line. Best field position of the ball game for UDA. We'll see if we can do something with it now. Certainly it'll be a little different series running from the 40 than it was running from the three. <laughs> That's for sure. So we'll see what happens. Tyler Grosser lines up on the slot on the near side of the field. It's first and 10. Pitches back over here for Sims. Sims drags it out for about four yards. No, it's not Sims, I beg your pardon. That's Scott Markle, or Zach Markle. Markle picked up four, second and six. Ball at the 44 yard line now of uh, UDA. Second and six, Trojans. Second down and six, Anson Amore, checking him out, looking him over, backs are split in the backfield for UD. Uh-oh, now we got something amiss. I think the Trojans might have moved the legal procedure call against UDA. And that'll cost them five and make it a second and 11. Ball spotted back here at the 39-yard line now of Upper Dauphin. And they'll try that again. Second and 11. Amore hands it off on a nice play and uh, dragging it ahead back to about where they were just a moment ago is uh, sure who ran that one Zach Markle on the carry picks up five back to the line of scrimmage where they were just a moment ago so now it's third and, and six Here they come, whoa. A good protection that time. Fires on down way and is caught on a super catch out here by number 44 of the, or was it, wait, who was it? 14, I guess. Heck of a grab that time by Ty Robinstein. That was Robinstein, right? Huh? That was yeah. Robinstein? Cripes, I'm having a heck of a time seeing these guys. Ty Robinstein with a heck of a catch gives the Trojans the first down. And then for the first time tonight, they're in Millersburg territory at the Indian 43 yard line. First and 10. Markle sets up as the single set in the backfield on this first down. Amour will call signals at the line of scrimmage. 
<laughs> He'll drop back. Fires one over here to Robinstein, and this time Robinstein is caught almost immediately. Number 44, Denny Kerstetter coming up there and making the stop on him. Good stop it was after a gain of three, or nearly four. A long three, second and a short seven. Ball now at the 40 yard line, just in outside the 40 yard line of Millersburg. Second down. Stay back here now and see what Anson Amore decides to do with this one. He is going to hand it off to Markle and Markle's gonna be stopped. Right uh, a little short of the line of scrimmage, probably lost a yard on the play. It'll be loss of one, bring up third and three. Back at the 41 yard line. Third down. And uh, just about eight, and that's gonna do it. First quarter has come to an end, but again, it's been a pretty good first quarter. As first quarters go for us this year, it is two nothing. Millersburg by virtue of the safety and they lead two nothing here at the end of one fourth of the ball game. Okay quarter two ready to begin here now. Trojans looking at a third and about seven. Anson Amore checking him out going from the eye in the backfield. Amore wants to throw rolling throws the screen over the far side it is incomplete. Intended for Marco, I believe. But uh, goes with an incompletion. That'll bring up a fourth down for UD. So we're looking at fourth down. We're going to punt the ball down there and see if we can hold these Indians deep. Got to get a good snap off here now. And Marco has got to get a good kickoff. Looks like his, uh, well, the breeze kind of blowing across the field now, I guess. Boy, mostly from the west, which means uh, Trojans will be punting north here, so we'll see what what happens. Let's see if we can get a good snap. That's the first step of this two-step process. Snap is perfect. Here's the kick. Nice kick, spiraling kick, heading down there, and it's gonna get a Millersburg bounce, but it'll be downed by the Trojans. Josh Jackson touching it first down there, 66, but then Helped out in there by Dreyer, among others. So, ball will be spotted at the 18 yard line. The Millersburg first and 10 on their own 18 yard line. Trojan defense has got to be happy with that first quarter. So, let's see if the fellows can keep the pressure on them here now. Kerstetter, ready to go. Hands it off to Brett Durr and Durr. Out over the 20 to, to the 21. Picked up three on the play, it'll be second and seven. Or the 22, yeah, 22 yard line. Second and a long six. Okay. And oh, no, quarterback's going to keep this one. Look out, trouble coming down the side over here. He goes, breaks several tackles, got a man or two to beat here. Down to the 30, cuts it inside, and he's going to be tackled at the 25-yard line of Upper Dolphin. And hold everything. There's a flag laying down at the 38-yard line. A hold called on Millersburg. So they're going to bring this one back again. The Millersburg Indians stymied with a hold call. And the Trojans. Very, very fortunate now as the Indians pick up the hold call down at the 43. And uh, if they mark it back from there, it'll bring up a third down, but we'll see. Of course, they'll take the penalty, otherwise Millersburg has a first down, so it's, that's a given. 64, Tyler Snyder checking into the ball game, number 70 for UDA in there, Cody Snyder. The Snyder twins, no, <laughs> they're not twins, but anyway. Back it goes. It'll come back here to the 28 yard line. And I'll make it third down. Or, oh, wait a second. That's going to be a first down. 
Okay, that's a first and 10 for Millersburg now on the Millersburg 28 yard line. Pitches back there for Durr. Durr turns it upfield and scoots ahead to the 34, 35 yard line. Gain of six on the play. The second down and uh, four. Second and four for Millersburg on their own 34 yard line. This time they're going to try it around the corner over there. And that's that uh, Brett Durr. Brett, the carrier, picked up enough for the first down as he gains out to the 39 yard line of uh, Millersburg. It's first and 10, Millersburg. First and 10. Up the middle with it, and not much going on there. Picked up maybe two or three before he stopped in there by a whole host of Trojans, including Wiest again on the stop, among others. Picked up three, it'll be second down and seven. Ball now at the 42 yard line of Millersburg. Second and seven. Daryl Kerstetter over center. He's gonna keep it. He's coming around this side and he's gonna get hit after a gain of about two or three more out to the 45 yard line he goes. It'll be third down coming up for Millersburg. Third and four. Third and four for the Indians. Again, that Trojan defense doing a pretty good job out there so far. Let's see if we can hold them here, get the ball back. 8.50 left here in the first half. Okay, here we go on a third down play. Up the middle again with it. This time he'll break through, however, gets the first down, picking up about six or seven yards on the play. Stopped in there finally by uh, Scott Dreyer. But uh, not before the Indians have taken it to the Trojan 47 yard line. Where will be first and 10 Millersburg. Millersburg line opening up some holes on those plays right up the middle. First and 10 Millersburg. Back to pass he goes, he's looking, he's throwing one way down the field, it is incomplete. Incomplete. Flat. Lesher making the defensive move down there. The young fellow was kind of turned around from Millersburg that time. Kerstetter threw it on the inside and a kid, or the outside, a kid was turned on the inside, had to spin around and couldn't get himself under control to make that catch. Trayer. Out there right with him, stride for stride. So it goes with an incompletion, brings up a second down and 10. Pitch is back in the backfield. They grab him and he's gonna knock him down over there. Out of bounds he goes. First hit put on him by that uh, Jordan fight. And then he was knocked out of there by Dreyer. Jordan kind of slowed him down. Dreyer knocked him out of there. Gain of one on the play to the 46 yard line of Upper Dolphin. Third down and nine. Now here is certainly a play that we can't let them loose and we'll see what happens. Third and nine, back to pass he goes. He's looking, he fires one way down the field and it is overthrown. Intended for Haynes out there, but well overthrown by five yards, and so it'll bring up a fourth down and nine, and presumably the Trojans will be getting the ball back. 7.51 remaining here in the first half. UDA sends back um, Robinstein and 
Who is that? Not sure. Anyway, punting situation here. Let's see what kind of snap he gets. Little high, but he's got it. And he'll punt one over this way. Let's see who's going to run it back. It's going to be, wow, smack down immediately out there, but he bounces right back up. Is that uh, number 12, Jordan, fight? But, uh, boy, Jordan hit immediately and uh, downed without a run back right at the 19, or check that, the 14-yard line of uh, UDA. So the Trojans held them there, get the ball back. Let's see if the offense can grind one out. Okay. Hanson Moore over center on this first and 10. Pitches over here to uh, Buffington, or to uh, Markle rather. Markle dives ahead to the 17 yard line. Picking up about two on the play. It'll be second down and eight. Scott Markle running back there. He is a sophomore, <clears throat> I believe. Gate of two on the last play, second down and eight. Amour calling the signals. He drops back. He wants to throw. Got a good block that time. Fires one over the middle. Is incomplete. Maybe uh, he was hit right about the time he got that pass off. It might have lost a little bit of energy on that one, but Hanson's okay. Thank goodness. He's all right. Boy, man was out there. Trojan was wide open. But uh, ball a little short and perhaps either partially blocked or whatever. I'm not sure. At any rate, brings up a third down and eight. Wolf, flanker on the near side of the field for UD on his third down and eight. Stay back here and see if they go to the air with Amour. Yep, back to pass he goes. Has some time. Fires one over the middle. It is incomplete. Intended out there for uh, number 23, Buffington. But he was there, and Amour's pass just sailing over everything. And punting situation coming up here for UD now as they face a fourth and eight from their own 17-yard line. We have the same problem. Okay, Markle will be stepping up to around a 13-yard line to get this punt off. Again, we're looking for a good snap from that center out there. Good snap. Here's the kick. Not a bad kick. Comes floating out here to the 48-yard line. He gets a miss out there. And then let's see what else is going on here as he's still on his feet. That's that uh, Jake Haynes on the return. Lesher and Dreyer making the stop finally on him out there. But... Goes all the way to the 35 yard line, 34 yard line of UD. So the Indians with some excellent field position here to begin this drive. 628 remaining in the first half of the ball game. He wants the throw, rolling to the right. Now he's gonna tuck it and run with it. And he is gonna be dragged down out here as coming up to get him. Is that uh, number 58, Blake Culva, making the stop? But it is a first down as he gains it all the way down to the 21, making the 22 yard line. First and 10, Millersburg from the UDA 22. First tenner hands this one off up the middle with it goes Durr. Brett Durr that time, carrying it ahead for about seven or eight yards. Picked up seven on the play. Six on the play, I guess. Five, all right. <laughs> Five or six or seven. Down to the 17 yard line of Upper Dolphin. Second down. Yeah. 
Quarterback keeps it, pitches it back here for that 10, and he's tripped up nicely as uh, number 12 out there for us fight with a good low tackle that time. Got him right down around the ankles. That was that Gardner. Gardner. Enough for the first down, however, at the UDA 12. So the Trojans now really got to tighten up the defense here. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the first half of the ball game. Trojans would like nothing but to keep them off the board if we can here. It's going to get tough now. It's first and 10 from the UDA 12. Both thirds line up in the backfield. Pitches back here to uh, Garrett Durr. He'll run a race around the right side or left side over there, and he's going to be finally knocked out of bounds. Dreyer riding him out over there. Culver the chasing him over there also, but Scott Dreyer really making the final bump on him. Gain of five, and he's second down and five for Millersburg. Ball at the seven yard line of Upper Dauphin. Again, both thirds in the backfield of behind Kerstetter. Up the middle with it they go. They're driving it down. Let's see, it's touchdown from seven yards out. Durr takes it in from seven yards out. And it's now a nine, or, or check that, an eight. Nothing ball game with an extra point try coming up here. It'll be a kick attempt for the extra point. We'll see how they make out. Placement down, kick is low and no good. No good. And so with 447 left here in the first half, it's now Millersburg eight and the Trojans nothing getting the ball back. Millersburg getting set to kick off following their first touchdown of the ball game. Here's the kick. Little short one's going to go over here and be received by whoops. Wait a minute. Hey, now we could get a flag for that. No, no, no flag on that. Dreyer got it slipped down to his knees. His play was obviously over, but a little extra bump in there, but no flag, no problem, no damage. So they'll put the ball at the 29 yard line. And the Trojans will have 442 remaining here in the half to try to work out a offensive score here. Ball to 29. Wolf brings himself out here as a flanker on the near side of the field. Trojans set up right now in an eye in the backfield. Let's see if they switch that. Nope, that's what they're gonna go with. And back to pass he goes. Gets some protection. Now he's gonna get it broken down in there now as he spins out of the pocket. And there's a bunch of Indians there to grab him. It'll be second and 10. Got back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe they give him half a yard, but it's a little bit closer to the 30 yard line than it was to the 29. So we'll say he gained a yard, a second down and nine, a long nine. Second and nine. Back to pass, he goes again, looking. Fires one over here, it is complete this time. And driven out of bounds with it is uh, Wolf. Wolf grabbed that one, picked up about uh, seven yards on the play. Third and two from the UD 37 yard line. Need a couple of yards here. 350 remaining here in the first half. The Moore hands this one off, tripping up the middle for a couple of yards goes Markle, I believe it was. 
That's uh, Zach out there. Yep. Markle dives ahead, but did not enough for the first out. Picked up one, and we needed two, so it's fourth and one now. So UD looking for a big, a big one-yard play. Coach sending that play in down here. Well, we'll see if we can perform what it's supposed to do. If it does, if we can, we'll get the yard and hopefully then some, maybe some more. We'll see. Millersburg will tighten up the middle of the line. You can bet on that. Well, let's see what happens. And as a matter of fact, Coach Carmen DeFrancesca is going to call timeout and make sure that this play works. We'll be right back. Trojan timeout is over, and now we need a one-yard play to continue this drive. Who will Amor give it to? Need to get to the 40, to the 39-yard line. Whoa, that's not going to do it. A missed snap. Snap was not good, and that's going to turn the ball over to Millersburg now as the Trojans muff the snap somehow or another, and that's going to do it. The Indians will take over on the Trojan 38-yard line. Now the Indians have three minutes, six seconds remaining here in the first half to work with. First and 10 from the 38 for Millersburg. Kerstetter wants to throw. He looks deep. The man is out here. It is caught. What a heck of a catch down for the touchdown. So the first big toss from Kerstetter on that drive goes for a 38 yard touchdown pass. A great catch made out there by that Millersburg Indian. And the Trojans now trail 14 nothing, and the Indians will try the extra point. Oh, well, fine pass from Daryl Kerstetter to uh, Jake Jake Haynes with the catch that time. Ooh, little fella here falling around out here with the water bottles. <laughs> All right. Timeout called, and it'll be over by the time this young fella gets the water. <laughs> anyway, 2.56 remaining here in the first half. Well, the Indians now will go for two. Kerstetter looking, fires over the middle. It is caught for the extra point to uh, Haynes again. So he gets the two-point conversion also and makes the score now. The Millersburg Indians 16 and the Trojans the zero. 2.56 remaining here in the first half of this ballgame. Millersburg set to kick off once again here now following their second touchdown of the half. And here it comes. Uh, it's going to be real short, taken out here at the 20, well, not taken, rolls out of bounds at the 20-yard line. And the Trojans will put it in play on their own 20 with 2.56 left here in the first half. <clears throat> first and 10, UDA. And hold everything here. Timeout called by Millersburg. Timeout on the field. Millersburg timeout is over now. Trojans going to work on a first and 10 from their own 35-yard uh, line. Amour going to throw, looking. Looking for a screen over here. He's got a man out here, but the ball is low, and uh, Marco makes the reception, but... It, or no reception. No, he didn't catch it. it. Was incomplete. Incomplete. Second down. Ten. Throw real low. Zach had no chance to grab that one. And had he grabbed it, he would have been uh, tagged for a loss anyway. I believe there were a lot of Millersburg Indians in on that play. Probably would have resulted in a loss. So the incompletion makes it a second and 10. Yeah, 
Amour hands this one off. And let's see, coming over this way is Grosser. And Tyler Grosser with a nice run. Comes out here short of the first down by a yard or two, but a nice play that time. And uh, Grosser picks up nine on the play. It'll be third and one. Ball at the 44-yard line of Upper Dauphin now. Nice run that time by Tyler Grosser. Hadn't gone to Grosser, I believe, and prior to that in the game. And Tyler got himself almost a first down. Short by one. Third down, though. Big play here. The Trojans had a third down and one or two a couple of plays ago and didn't make it. So let's see if we can make it this time. Nope, now we're gonna move again. And that's gonna cost us five and make it third down and six. So we'll see. Third and six now for UD. So we were just speaking about the third and one. Now we're looking at a third and six, which does make a difference. Third down and six. We'll stay back now. See if we can throw a little flare somewhere and pick up six yards. Amour is going to drop back. He's looking. He is going to take off with it now, and he will be held out here. And a flag down, probably a face mask, maybe. We'll see. I think Anson was the only black shirt around, so we'll see what the call is. Personal foul, face mask is the call. So that'll be a first down for UDA, probably. The gain was out to the 44-yard line. He would have been shy of the first down, actually, or darn close to it anyway. So this will be a 15-yarder, taking the ball down to the 40-yard line of Millersburg with a minute 21 remaining here in the first half. Down to the 40 of the Millersburg Indians. So no harm done on that one, no one injured, and a face mask could have been inadvertent, but nevertheless, it's down to the 40-yard line where the Trojans will put it in play. Clock moving now with a minute and 10, 60, 71 seconds left here in the half. So we'll stay back and see if the Trojans elect to put this thing in the air. From the shotgun they go. He has time, fires one down, on the far side is incomplete. No, that's okay, no receivers near that one. So it's a second down and 10. Stops the clock with 53 seconds left here in the half. Okay, second down, 10 for the Trojans. Amore again, dropping back to throw, looking, looking, looking. Now he has plenty of time. There's a flag and a hold called on UD. So the pass is good to Markle, but uh, that's not going to help because there is a flag back here where their hold will be called on UD. Sometimes when a quarterback gets that amount of time to throw and gets away from a couple of guys, somebody's probably holding someone. And uh, that was the case in this case. Flag was dropped at the 48-yard line of Upper Dauphin. Or check that, of, uh, of uh, Millersburg, rather. But it'll be taken down to the 42-yard line, presumably. Let's see. Yep. Placed on the 42-yard line of Upper Dauphin now, where it's second down and about 20... Eight. Second down and 28. 33 seconds remain now, so the Trojans with one more gasp here in the first half. Moore goes over center on this one. And he's going to get swarmed under at the 35-yard line. And that'll just about do it. As the clock stops for the change of the Sticks. Oh, timeout called. I beg your pardon. That's only the third down. Was, okay. Forgot about the penalty in there. Okay. Third down and 35. Clock stops with 15 seconds remaining here in the half. Timeout is over. There we go on a big third down and very, very long.
Coming over this way with it is Markle, and he will be tackled out of bounds, stopping the clock with eight seconds left. You get down to the 43, it'll be fourth down and still about uh, 27. And Millersburg calls timeout with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Markle will put this one away with eight seconds remaining. Good snap. Wow, almost a block. Wow, it did tip it. And uh, ball will roll dead down here. Then clock did run out here as Josh, by gosh, Kephart picked that one off down there to down it. It's 16 nothing, Millersburg. Set to go here in the second half of play versus Millersburg. The Indians leading 16 nothing here as we begin the third uh, quarter. And the Trojans will get the ball to start the third quarter here. They're going to send back Wolf. Uh, it'll be Wolf, Fight, and uh, Grocer, I think, on the far side. I see a three. Yeah, that's Grocer. Wolf, Fight, and Grocer will be back to receive this opening kick of the second half. <clears throat> so we're going to still the thing that has eluded us has been scoring. And we're going to see if the Trojans can find a way to put something on the board tonight. Here's the kick. It's going to go over there where Grocer is going to take it at the 18 yard line. And he'll march along up there to the 20 or 30 and across the 30 to the 34. Pretty nice run back by Tyler Grocer. Not bad at all. So the Trojans will put the ball in play now first and 10 at their own 34 yard line. It's amazing how we just can't seem to get any offense going. Get it going, we just can't finish it off. So they'll go from the shotgun to begin the third quarter here. Anson Amore in there at the QB spot. Sends Grocer in motion over to the far side of the field. And uh, we're going to throw. Man is open out here. It is caught. And out of bounds with it goes number 40 or 14. That's that uh, Ty Robinstein. Ty with the grab. It'll be close to the first down. Let's see. Are they going to say it is a, nope, they're going to measure. Or it is a first down. Nope, it is a first down. Okay. Very, very close, but they made it out to the 44 yard line. First and 10, UD. So a good way to begin the third quarter here. Let's see if we can keep something going. That's the problem. Again, from the shotgun they go. This time motion comes over this way, but he rolls left, looking to throw. Fires one down the middle. It is tipped and incomplete. Intended for Tyler Grocer, but knocked down by Durr out there. Or knocked down by Haynes, rather. And so we'll bring up a second and 10 now for UD. Second down and 10. Time momentarily called here now until we get the football placed at the right spot. Now it's at the right spot on the 34, 44 yard line of UD. Second and 10 coming up here for the Trojans. Gross to the flanker out on the near side of the field this time. Wolf is in tight on the far side on this second and 10. Split backs in the backfield for UDA. Are they blocking backs or running backs? We'll see. They're going to be blocking. Hello, look out. Hey, he gets away and then he couldn't get away the rest of the way, however. Got back to near the line of scrimmage. Might have lost a yard on the play. It'll be third down and 11. Third and 11. The 
He'll throw. He's looking. He's firing one down this way. It is tipped around and incomplete. The most likely receivers that time all had white shirts on. As it brings up a fourth down and 11 from the 43 yard line. So the Trojans will punt the ball away here. Again, Marco will be called upon to uh, put one out of here. Wind blowing pretty stiffly now across the field, sort of. So let's see what happens with this one. Good snap. And the kick, not too bad. It's going to go down there, and let's see if we can get a UD roll out of it. Yep, goes out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. So we know run back, and the Indians will put it in play right there. First and 10 on the Indian... 15 or 16. Let's see where they put it. Right on the 15 yard line. First and 10, Millersburg. Okay, first and 10. Daryl Kerstetter in there at the QB spot. Hands it off and up the middle they go with it, but not too much on that. Again, the Trojans tightened up the middle of that line. Kerstetter kept it that time. Got himself about a yard or so. A long yard, be second down and nine. Second down and eight, it's a long eight. Second and eight. <clears throat> Up the middle with it, they'll drive it this time. Still on his feet is Durr. And Brett Durr drives it out over the 25 for a first down. At least it looks like a first down. Yep, it is first down, Billersburg. First and 10, Millersburg from the 25 pitches back over there to uh, number 10. And he'll pick himself up about four or five. 10 is Garner, Steve Garner with the carry that time. Picked up four. Second down and six for Millersburg. Ball now at the 29 yard line of UDA. Eight and a half minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Hain, Jake Hain flanks out on the near side of the field on this Second down play, but up the middle they go with it. And uh, well, big scramble there. Looks like stopped in there by uh, number 78. Um, James, what the heck, Peck, along with uh, Scott Dreyer. They're gonna stop out there. Picked up a couple on the play. It'll be third and five. Third and almost five out there. <clears throat> oh my, he's got five and then more out to the 45 yard line of Upper Dolphin he goes. Before he stopped in air peck again along with uh, Grosser that time. Making the stop. That was Brett Durr that time. It's first and 10 at the 45 of Millersburg. First and 10. Pitch is back over there to Derry. Dribbled it once, picks it up, goes down the right side, still on his feet. Charging down the right side, breaks a couple more tackles and gets inside the 20, the 25, the 20, make it. Down to about the 19. Grosser getting up last down there, making the final hit on him, but another big gain for those Millersburg Indians. They're at the Trojan 19 yard line now. It was that Gardner, Steve Gardner that time, running the ball nicely for the Indians. <clears throat> Kerstetter hands it off over the left side. They go this time and down to around the 11.
Spotted at the 11. Gain of eight on the play, second down two. Second and two. Nice. Picks up close to the first down. If it isn't, I think it might be. That was Durr again. Brett Durr down to the eight. It'll be awfully close to the first down. It is a first and goal from the eight yard line for Millersburg. First and goal from the eight. Pitches back over this way to Garrett Durr and he'll go somewhere. <laughs> he went in for a touchdown. Oh, okay. Durr scrambles in there for him for a touchdown from eight yards out. And it's now 22 nothing with 548 left here. We'll look at the extra point try coming up here in just one moment. Gonna try to kick the extra point. Snaps good, placement's down, kick is up. Kick is off to the right, I do believe. Yep, wide right. And so, score now, 22 nothing. And uh, 528, 528 remaining here in the third quarter. And we'll be right back. It's kickoff following that touchdown. It's going to be short again, taken out here at about the 30 or 27 yard line. And upfield they come with it. The ball comes loose. The ball was down, though. No, oh, no problem. The ball was already down. He was already down when he coughed up the football. So it's first and 10. UD8 now starting out at the 37. Williams Valley sounds like they're going to win a ball game tonight. They've had some tough losses. In the meantime, on a reverse, Grocer has it. He gets shoved up the middle, gets over the 40 to the 41 yard line. That time, there a little bit of interference by his own guys out there that time, it seemed. Tyler unable to get it really going, but uh, did pick up five on the play. It'll be second down and five. Second and five for UD. Anson Amore hands it off up the middle with it. They go, but uh, not too far. Picked up maybe two. See where they unpile everybody here. People laying all over the place yet. That was Ty Buffington with the football. Picked up two, it'll be third and three. Ball is at the 42 and a half yard line of UDA. You just think the Trojans got to break one here or something got to happen now. They're going into their 14th quarter without scoring. This time it's it, ball comes loose, picked up over here. Let's see. Looked like the Trojans had it momentarily there. Appeared as though uh, Cody Snyder might have grabbed it, but see how they rule after they uh, get them all off of here. I think we have it. Yep. Trojans got it. Cody must have hung on to that one. Way to go. It's fourth down and two. Might have gotten a yard on the fumble. Fourth down and two. Trojans will punt it. Ball back out of there. Marco back to punt once again for UDA. 
One man back deep for Millersburg to receive this punt. Good snap. And a nice high kick. Going to come out here and now it gets kind of a UD roll. Yeah, that's a better roll that time. Anyway, back to the 17 yard line or around there. Buffington tagging it down for UD. So, the Indians will put it in play on their own 17 yard line. Two minutes, 56 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Millersburg up 22 nothing. Indians set to go on a first and 10. Over the right side, he goes with it, drags it out over the 20 to the 21 yard line, picking up about four on the play. Be second down and six. Up the middle with it again, breaks loose, breaks his way over this way, needs a couple of blocks but can't get it as Wolf comes up and makes that stop on him nicely at the 41 yard line of the Trojan of the Indians. First in down, first down for Millersburg. Good run that time, but a good stop by that uh, Brent Wolf. Solo tackle out there. Timeout called by UDA. First and 10, Millersburg. He's going to throw it, dumps it over the middle. It is complete for about seven yards to the 47 yard line. Pick up on the play of, well, a long six anyway. Close to seven. Seven on the play. Second down, but a long three. Oof, quarterback's going to keep it. He's got a lot of running room. Here he comes over to the side, leaping and jumping down to the 39 yard line. Finally stopped out there by Buffington, along with uh, Wiest. So, uh, Ball at the 39-yard line of UD. First and 10, Millersburg. 120 remaining in the third quarter. Clock continues to move on down here now on this homecoming night. Nice moon up there, beautiful evening, but Trojans need to generate some offense. Quarterback has it, he'll keep it. Leaps over a couple of guys, still on his feet. Flag on the play. And he is down at the 31 yard line, tackled in air by Grosser. But there is a flag on the play and it's holding against Millersburg. Here's your call, and I'm pretty sure it was holding. Holding or illegal use of the hands, whatever you want to call it. What they used to call it anyway, I think. So it takes it back to the 45 yard line of Upper Dauphin, where it's now first and 15. Quarterback's going to throw it if he gets a chance, getting chased back there, but now he'll pick it up and run it. And he'll go down to the 33 yard line, something like that. It'll be pick, picking up eight yards on the play. Be second down and eight. Seven, yeah, second down and eight picked up. At the 37 yard line they go now. On a second and eight. Up the middle with it goes Durr. Durr breaks himself free right down the middle. He will go all the way. And a flag thrown as number 10, Steve Garner, knocked down one of the Trojans. I think he knocked down that uh, uh, Lesher. Took Lesher down right at the five yard line. Wow. An error on uh, Millersburg for sure. Preventing a TD would have been a 
37 yard run by Durr, but instead, 10 yards of it's going to be cut off. So they march this one back 10. It'll be go back to the 13 yard line or wherever the flag was, back to the 15 maybe. Back to the 13. First and 10 for the Indians on the Trojan 13 yard line. 26 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. First and 10 from the UD 13. He rolls back looking. Fires one down this way it is. Incomplete, incomplete at about the two yard line. Hain, the intended receiver, but uh, goes as an incompletion. Yep, second down and 10 from the UD 13. Second down, quarterback keeps it, goes around the right side to the five, down to the two yard line. Tripped up down there by Wolf. Down at the two. It'll be first and goal from the two for the Millersburg Indians. Clock starts and that's going to do it as they're going to wind all the way up to the other end of the field here to begin the fourth and final period here at UDA. At the end of three, Millersburg on top, 22 nothing. Be right back. Extra point try coming up here now for the Millersburg Indians. Or no, not extra point. Oh, wait a minute. This is the uh, touchdown. Did he get in? No, he did not. Second and goal. I beg your pardon. Second and goal from now the uh, less than a yard out. It looks like from here from where this linesman is standing. And timeout's going to be called by UDA. Timeout called by the Trojans. It's second and goal from the less than the one. Timeout is over. Second down, less than a foot for the Millersburg Indians. Durr drives it in for the touchdown. Brett Durr taking it in from about two feet out. Had six more points on the board for the Millersburg Indians. Now makes it 28 to nothing with an extra point try coming up. Timeout, we have an injured player on the field. Fifty one of Millersburg being helped off the field over there. We hope the young fellow is going to be OK. Looks like he got a banged up knee or leg. Some kind of injury, so we wish him the best as the Indians go now for the extra point. Kick is up, kick is blocked. No good. And so the score with 1134 remaining here in the ball game remains the Millersburg Indians 28 and the Upper Dolphin Trojans nothing. Millersburg getting ready to kick off again following their fourth touchdown of the ball game. And uh, Wolf, Fight, and Huffman back to receive this kick. And uh, here we go. Taken at the 19. Upfield, he comes with it, coughs up the football, picked up. Well, wait a minute. Ball's still loose. And now I think the Trojans might have recovered it. They did. Looks as though getting up with at that time would be that number 40. Dreyer picking it up. 
And the Trojans will have the ball at their own 27. 11 24 left here in the ball game. <clears throat> First and 10. And you'll get maybe two. Fell forward. Uh, did, uh, who was that? Markle. Markle on the carry, got two. Got one. America back, give him one to the 27. Second down and 11. From the shotgun goes Anson Amour. Sends Grosser in motion over to the far side. Amour has it. He's going to want to throw. He's looking. Fires one downfield. It is complete this time to Grosser, and he dives out of bounds at about the 42 or 3 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. It is very, very, or yeah, 38 yard line make that. It's a Trojan first down on a good pass that time from Anson Amour to Tyler Grosser. Grosser picking it off and running it to the 38. It is first and 10 UD. Amour wants to throw it again. Look, it fires one over this way. It is complete to Wolf, and Wolf is tackled at the 42-yard line. Gain him about a yard or two on the play. Well, they spotted ahead now to the 43. Gain of four on the play. It'll be second and six. Second down and six for UDA. The ball at the 42-yard line of Upper Dolphin. From the shotgun again, they'll go. He's looking, looking. Fires one way down the field. Man is out here. It is caught, I think. Yes, it's caught by Wolf. Brent Wolf with a big catch that time for UDA. Way to go. Had a man right there all over him, but Wolf was able to bring it in. Way to go, Brent. All right. That gets the ball down to the Millersburg 22-yard line. The Trojans need to score, going 15 quarters now without scoring. And by golly, it's time. Time has come. Amour back again in the shotgun formation. He and, you know, kept it at that time and gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all. It'll be second down for UDA. Hanson lost maybe a half a yard on the last play, so it'll be second down and a long 10, maybe 11. Grosser in motion. Now, Moore, hold everything. Hold the phone. Flag's gone. Somebody was doing something wrong all right before the snap. Might have been a dead ball or maybe not. I'm not sure. Illegal, false start, put on the Trojan. So that'll set them back five, and make it a second down and 16. Ball will come back here to the 27 yard line. Second down. Down the middle, and uh, boy, it could have been. Boy, it sure looked like Wolf was held up that time, and I think that's what Brent's claiming, but no flags on the play, so it'll be third down coming up here for UDA. I don't know, Brent got tangled up down there and couldn't get near that football, but uh, no flags, no nothing, so it's third down and a long 15, almost 16. Timeout called by the Indians. I mean, Millersburg calls time. Third coming up here and we come back. Millersburg timeout is over. And so we go with a third and uh, about 16. 
This time it'll be a passing play here, maybe. Passes one down here, it is complete for a couple of yards down to the 17 yard line. Nice reception made out there by Robinstein. Ty picking that one off at about the 17 yard line. It'll be fourth and uh, four. Picked up about 16 yards on a play. But fourth down and, uh, or not 16, about eight yards on a play. Now actually, picked up almost 12 yards on that play. Fourth down coming up here though, big fourth down play for UD. Robinstein checks out. Ty Buffington into the ball game to replace him for UDA. Big play now if the Trojans want to try to get some offense going here. Let's see what happens. See if we can get on the board. Back to pass goes aboard. Dumps one over the middle. It is incomplete. Intended out there for uh, Zach Markle, but uh, Zach not near that one. And it'll be first and 10 for the Indians now as the Trojans stall again. Down at, yeah, you're good. Down at the... Uh, 16 yard line on the 16 yard line is where Millersburg will take over now they have six minutes and 46 seconds to play here in the ball game new quarterback in there for the Millersburg Indians handoff gains of about six to the 21 yard line picked up five we'll call it it'll be second down and five Brett Boyer, the quarterback now for the Indians. On this second down and five. Up the middle with it he goes and dashes all the way out over the third, 35, or 25 rather, to the 27 yard line, very close to a first down. We'll see as they look at it over here on the sideline. And he says it is a first down by about a foot or two. That's the kind of stuff the Trojans have had all year. The Trojans need a first down. They come up a foot short. The other teams, including Millersburg, needs a first down. They'll come up with a foot long, you know, good enough. Rats, anyway. <laughs> first and 10 now. The ball at the 27-yard line of Millersburg. Handoff takes it up the middle. Oh, the ball came loose. Let's see who's got it. A big pileup up out here. It's going to be Millersburg ball. Yep. Millersburg has the football out at the 34-yard line of uh, Millersburg. Second down and about three to go for a first down. Five minutes and 10 seconds to go in the game. Boyer over center for Millersburg. <clears throat> Pitch back over this way. Coming up the uh, line over here and with a good running room and now needs a block or two. He's down to the 30, down to the 20, down to the 10, and out of bounds at the seven yard line. Got bumped out of bounds at the seven, no flags on the play. Big run that time all the way down to the UDA seven yard line. Where it'll be first and goal for Millersburg with four 39 left here in the ball game. First and goal. And this time it's going to be kept by Boyer. And uh, he drives it to the five. Four minutes, 27 seconds remaining. Second and goal from the five yard line now for Millersburg. Second and goal from the five. Pitch back over there with that 44 guy. He turns it upfield. He'll drive it down. And did he get in? It's close. Yes, he did. Touchdown. 
Five yard touchdown run, number 44, Kerstetter. That's that Denny Kerstetter taking it in from five yards out. And making a score now 34 0 with an extra point try coming up here for those powerful Millersburg Indians. Millersburg has lost one game this year to uh, Steelton uh, early on. In fact, uh, I think the first, first game of the season. Since that time now, we'll have run off four consecutive conference victories. So they'll go one and or five and one, and the Trojans will drop to one and or four and one rather, and the Trojans will drop to one and four. Kick is up, kick is good. So we've got 347 remaining here in the ball game, and it's 35 nothing, Millersburg. Indian band over there on the warpath. Yep. So here we go with the kickoff now, following the fifth touchdown, fourth touchdown rather, fifth, I guess it is. Kick down to the 13 yard line. Picked up there by Grosser, spins ahead to the 20, about a seven yard run back. And that'll do it now. As the Trojans will put it in play on the 21 yard line of Upper Dolphin. Okay, first down, UDA. Trojans with a new QB in there too. This is uh, Cuppenhaver, and he'll hand it off and dragging it up ahead here for a couple of yards out to the 22 yard line. Number 10, Huffman, Cody Huffman, dragging it out there. Check it, it's, it's Jordan Fight in there as the QB, QB right now. Jordy Fight coming Haver out with an injury. So he is engineering the process here right now, that Jordan Fight. But this time, Gainzo may be a yard or so. That's uh, Huffman again with the run up the middle, picking up maybe a yard. Third down and eight. Third and eight. Third and eight. Let's see if uh, Fight can throw one up here. I'm not sure. He's going to drop back with it, roll right. Now nah, he's got a little running room. Jordan can run. Spins away from one tackler and then is down after a gain of about four, maybe. Out to about the 27 yard line. It'll be fourth down and four for UD. Fourth and four. Never mind, somebody got it. It was a kicker, 80 seconds remaining in the ball game. They'll drop back in punt formation to the Trojans. And he get the punt off out here. He's going to hit at the 49 yard line and uh, be downed by uh, Josh Kephart out here at the 47 yard line. And the Millersburg Indians will put it in play right there with exactly one minute remaining in this homecoming ball game. Just going to set on this one, and that's going to about do it now. Now they're going to run it. Up the middle he goes with it, 2 5 on the run. That's going to do it, but there's a flag on the play, so it will not end there. Illegal procedure called against Millersburg, and that's going to make them run at least one more play with 10 seconds remaining, unless they start the clock immediately anyway. 
normally with the penalty they wouldn't, but the legal procedure is declined, and the clock will begin right now, and that's going to do it. So the final score here tonight, the Millersburg Indians clip the Trojans one more time. It is 35-0 here at UDA. Final score. <laughs> So once again, the Trojan boys playing some good D in the early going gave Millersburg uh, a 14 point lead at one point, but it was a two yard or a two point uh, penalty. The first one, a uh, penalty for the ball snapped into the end zone for a safety. And then after that, the boys played some pretty good defense, but uh, just, you know, keep playing defense and can't get much offense going. And pretty soon the defense starts to wear down also. And so yet another blitzing here for the Trojans, 35 to nothing. So the Trojans have now gone four games without scoring a point of any kind. And that's got a wear on them now as they prepare for next week's ball game. I think it might be uh, Williams Valley next weekend up at Williams Valley. And Williams Valley playing a good game tonight against Newport. So it won't be easy, that's for sure. We'll uh, catch you at the uh, next UDA ball game. Congratulations to Millersburg, the coaching staff, and all the boys out there for a, another big victory as they continue their march here in the league. So see you later. Good night from UDA.